finally got a nickel here. And it looks kind of in a second. Give me a glove off. I think it might be silver. No. No. Look at that. It's just super preserved. 1964. Tricked me. Crazy. Hey, you got me a weedy. Thing is, look how bright it came out of the ground. It happens quite a bit in Montana. I don't know if our dirt's just different, but it's like a 1917. Look at that. Things all kinds of bright still. So, I found a whole bunch of pieces of jewelry here. I think. Oh, dang, I just lost one. I think. Just to a bracelet or something. I washed one of them out so you can kind of see it. Wobbly rock. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we get. So, I found another piece. I'm probably, I don't know, 10 feet away. These are ringing up like 22. So, I don't know. Copper, brass. They're pretty interesting though. Yeah, looks like it just got me another ring. I think that's gonna be junk again. <laughs> and usually these adjustable ones are always junk. Yeah, pretty cool though. Okay, so once again, coming out of this sand, oh, dropped it. Look how clean that is. Look how weedy is. It's like brand new. That's crazy. I think it says 1947. I might say 1941, but yeah, you just never know what's going to happen out here, guys. Look at that. Brand new looking penny. And I know that's not a fresh drop. This is an old dock area right here, so yeah, that's crazy. All right, see what else we can get. So here's another one that just came out looking almost brand new. You see it does have a little bit of staining. This one is a 1955. And of course the stain is right on the 55. So I can't tell if it's a double dye, but it's not striking me as one, so look at that. It's pretty cool to Pull preserved weedies out of the ground. So this is the strangest little piece of jewelry. I mean, I'm guessing it's jewelry. Look at that. I don't know if this is focusing. Look how strange that is. Huh. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Now that thing was screaming at me. Look at that big old hair clip. I don't know if I ever pulled up a half plastic, half metal barrette. Looks like I get an old piece of buckle. I think that probably is pretty old. I don't know my buckles very well though. Alright, I got a 26 signal. Down on these rocks and I see a ring. I think it's going to be silver. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh. 
That is not silver. <laughs> that is very light. Tricked me. Well, it's a ring. Let's keep going. That looks like I just got half a ring. That came up a 10. Well, look at that'll focus. I got this little teeny thing here. First I thought it was jewelry, but I have no idea what that is. Do you know? Okay, I just found me a little junk ring. Hopefully I'll get something that's real here in a minute. Yeah, this came up at 10. I had high hopes for it. Man, I was excited when I saw that. I mean, it was caked in mud, but I thought, oh, turquoise. Turquoise is always set in silver around here. But the more I look at this, the more I think this is just bling, and that's not turquoise. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. Sure. Sure is heavy, but... You don't see any marks on it anymore. I mean, it rang upright, and it's kind of got that look, but... Then you see these little... Weird little lines on the back. Yeah, I think this is going to be junk. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, we got a little piece of bling. Hey, look at that. And a fake stone on that side. Look how green that nickel is. <laughs> That's crazy. This is fresh water. But, you know, all the sand, all the dirt's different, so. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I have here. Kind of looks like it's a piece of a shoe or something. Some sort of metal plate inside a rubber. Okay. Shout out to Big Sky Brewery Company. Found one of your bottle openers. I mean, if I didn't know better, I'd say that patina looks a lot like silver. I wonder what the heck that's made out of. It is a high tone. Look how gray that is. Crazy. Well, that little button sure rang up nice. It's a little aluminum. It's giving me a solid 23, I was thinking. Oh yeah, here's a silver ring. Nope, aluminum. Alright, I got something, something here. It says Bass Pro Shops. Not really sure what it's for. I mean I guess that could be a keychain or something. It's got a jagged edge like it's supposed to do something. Look at that freaking hottie. Boom. Okay. I think I just got myself a silver ring here. Let's check that out. Boom, that's a chunky one. All right, sweet. Uh, I can't see a mark right now, but. Pretty sure that's silver. You know, the more I look at this, I think it's like handcrafted because it's a little wonky. Like I think somebody custom made this. Pretty cool though. Yeah, that rang up a solid 34, so this is a nice chunk of silver. So this is a little weird. I found a, a round, flat piece of lead. I don't know if that was something, but can't make anything of it now. 
Look at that. I just found me a train. How sweet is that? It's not far from where I got that silver ring. Well, I really had hopes for this one. This one came up at 11. It's a little turtle ring. Looks like it used to be plated. 